parachute regiment are are the elite of the army. You know, they they go out and they're 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 a frontline fighting force, a conventional fighting force. So they, I would say that they're, you know, if you've got your wings and your maroon beret, which I had, you know, you're very very well respected within that organisation. So I sort of bounced from the paras, if you wish, to the marines. So I got my my maroon beret, my parachute wings, and then I thought, Do you know what, when I left, I missed the military. I left and I'd done a, a, st a stint in Sibby Street and I missed the military and I thought to myself, do you know what, I'm going to go and join a different organisation. That's when I decided to join the Marines at the age of 23, 24. And you talk about obviously the Army's got drivers and engineers and stuff, so because you haven't got them in the Marines, do you borrow the ones from the Army? No, you do have it. You do have, in the Marines, you do have your, your drivers and your chefs and stuff like that, but everyone's gone through the same 32 weeks of basic training it's, it's it's the hardest basic training in the world infantry and the longest 